In this video, we're going to be talking about how to do billable time in Salesforce. We're going to talk about how you can create some easy formula fields, how you can track. Uh, for this uh, use case, we're going to be talking about block time, clients purchasing block time, and then you tracking time to reduce that block time, um, showing you trends on their use of block time and or prepaid time, as well as getting a report to the client so they can monitor how much time you're spending. This is a typical use case for like a consultant firm or anybody that really bills in hours uh, and trades their hours for dollars. So let's go ahead and log into Salesforce as we're in here. So you're on the account page. We've already got some um, fields already created called block time purchased, block time spent, and then block time balance. Block time purchased is simply a roll-up summary from an opportunity. Block time spent is a roll-up summary from the time tracking summary within the fostering time tracking app. And the block time balance is just a simple formula that takes that minus that. And you get all those details. So let's say, for instance, um, we've been working with this client and they want to buy another chunk of block time. We can see they've already got block time and uh, it looks like they have quite a bit left over, but they want to renew for another 100 hours this year. So I'm just going to create, we created a little opportunity record type called block time. Well, let's say it's $2,000, we do $200 an hour, let's call it 2023 block time, let's do an upgrade, got to put your close date, your stage, and then we have a, a, a custom field here, that's the amount of block time. So let's say for they're going to get 100 hours for the $2,000. We'll hit save, now we can go back to the details page and see that that block time purchase is now at 200 Really nice, really easy. So from one quick view, obviously you can do all reports and anything you wanna do, but from this one view, you can see quickly how much time that client has. You could set automation, uh, do things as necessary. So now that that client purchased block time, now let's actually start working a case. So let's we'll open up a case for Burlington Textiles. Uh, they needed some help for structural equipment design, structural failure of a generator, generator hose. You know, it's just sample data in Salesforce. But with the fostering time tracking app within Salesforce, you'll see this new component. And it automatically defaults to case. We just simply hit start. And we're going to go ahead and track the time necessary. You can pause. You can resume it. You could even go back to um, a different case. So let's just say uh, we're going to go work on another case for Burlington. And let's pull up the other one other case they have on their account and let's pause that one and now we're going to start this one so you can easily track multiple multiple times so obviously the tracking will happen as uh, you guys use the time within Salesforce let's go ahead and stop it and then we can select the rate card if there's rate cards that you guys want to specify and then enter a summary in this demo we don't have any rate card set up so I did this and that close that time tracking Let's stop this one, did this and that, close time tracking. And then um, for this use case, we obviously didn't track very much time. So if we go back to Burlington Textiles, I think we're at like 18 point something hours, 0.25. Oh, no, we go. Yeah, so our rounding settings rounded our, our time up and you can see that that tracked as appropriate. So now what I want to show is a little bit of use case of how you could send this information to a client. We use a third party app called Cloud4j uh, Report Builder that allows you to schedule uh, reports from Salesforce and email them automatically to clients. So by putting this uh, report together uh, of their time spent, uh, the summaries and what that looks like, we can give a nice easy report. In this report, it's more centered around prepaid time than it is uh, block time but very close to the same. It's actually something that we use here at Fostering day in and day out for our clients. So they get a nice little email. You can customize the subject. Again, these are automatic emails using that third-party tool called Cloud4j Report Builder. I'll put a link in the video description. But it sends a nice PDF of what they worked. You can see the total hours, how much they did, uh, their balance, if you have any sort of expiration, but this is just simply a Salesforce report where you can put a nice header on it um, and uh, format it in your color scheme. And you can see the individual things that the person uh, that you worked for that client. Uh, you can even send them an Excel file if that helps. You know if they want to see it in an Excel form. Um, but a really nice, easy way 
Fostering uses this to send it to their clients every Monday morning so that they can monitor how much time they have with it. Um, uh, with us as a consultant, Salesforce consultant, and then they can make decisions accordingly to say, you know, spend more time here, spend more time there. The next piece I want to show you is how you can analyze some of the time that you've used with that client. This is great for reviewing clients that you do ongoing work with. So for instance, here's a client that we've worked with for many years, and we just simply put an analytical trend report of how much time we've billed them every single month. So you can see that that trend goes up and down based on the billing dates, but we put this nominal line to kind of say, you know, that's that's really the average that we've spent with a client. So it really gives you analytical data to go back to the client to say, okay, in April you guys are running out of hours. We see that on average you spend anywhere from 12, you know, let's say $13,000 a month, and we want to sign a, a six month agreement with you, extrapolate those numbers, and now you're able to really make analytical decisions based on uh, staffing and actual use of hours, not just a, an estimate. So hopefully this is helpful. I would encourage you to read the blog, the full blog, Billable Time in Salesforce, to understand how you could make those fields that we showed in the beginning of the video. And um, that should conclude from uh, creating new billable time for, let's say, block time. And then uh, by closing an opportunity, working a case, tracking time, and then sending reports to a client, and then also analyzing that data right in Salesforce. As all that data is tracked in Salesforce, you don't have to go anywhere else, any other third-party application, and, uh, and get all that at your fingertips. Hopefully that helps, and if you have any questions, feel free to schedule a time on time tracking, uh, billable time in Salesforce. Just hit schedule a demo. That'll actually go to my calendar, Matt Foster, and you can see what times are available and uh, put a time for a personalized demo. Thanks for your time and hope you have fun tracking time in Salesforce.